Hello everyone, this video is about simplifying constants of integration and the modulus sign in logarithmic uh, integration. So simplifying constants of integration, you can name constants differently, not always C, but C1, C2, C3, and operations involving constants result in another constant. So if we have 3 times a constant, we get another constant, E, which is a constant, to the power of a constant, we get another constant. And if we add constants, we get another constant. So we can just rename the final constant C. So for example, if we are given f prime of x equals this, f prime of 0 equals 1, find the f of x. So the um, f of x is the integral, of course. And we can pull the uh, 2 out of the integration. So we can just integrate e to the power of 3x, which is exactly the same, divided by the derivative of 3x, which is 3. Plus, you know, when we integrate, we have a constant. Now, if you kind of expand here, you get 2 thirds e to the power of 3x, plus, wait a minute, there is no 3 here, I mean this 2. And we get um, 2c1. 2 c one two C1. Now this 2c1 here is basically just another constant. So we can just um, rewrite here. So this is exactly the same. It's supposed to be exactly the same. 2 thirds e to the power of 3x plus, yeah, I mean just 2. 2c1. Two so now we plug in 0. f of 0 equals 2 thirds e to the power of 3 times 0 which is 1 here so it's just 2 thirds plus 2 wait a minute this is 2c1 I mean plus 2c1 equals 1 so yeah 2c1 so 2 thirds plus 2c1 equals 1 so 2c1 equals minus 1 minus 2 thirds which is 1 third and C1 is therefore 1 over 6, I mean. So the C1 is 1 over 6. And so we get the final answer. I mean, 1 over 6 is the final answer. Alright. And now, um, I mean, this is 2 again. This is just 2. So. 2 times c1, the c1 is 1 over 6, oops, so yeah, it was right, the c1 is 1 over 6, 2 times 1 over 6 is 1 over 3, so yeah, the final answer is the one with the double underline, alright, so, okay, now this is exactly the same, but this time, we are naming, hold on, this is actually 2, so this time we are naming this 2c1 because it's 2 times another a constant, we get another constant, or else it's called c2 or just c. So here we are using c2 instead, and we get 2 thirds plus c2 equals 1. Of course the constant will be different. So this time the constant is just 1 third. But um, if we replace this c2 with 1 third, of course we get exactly the same result here one third also one third so the final answer is exactly the same so of course the constants are different but the final um, function is exactly the same and of course it's easier if we simplify the constants and simplifying modulus yeah we can just check the domain if in the question we have x is bigger than zero or smaller than zero then we know which um, is to use here and remember that something squared is always positive so we don't need to use the absolute value and also remember that exponentials are always positive all right so for example here we have f prime of x equals 2 over x and f of e equals this find f of x so f of x is the integral of the f prime 
so we can pull the two out we have the um, integral is ln modulus of x so we have two times ln modulus x plus two times c1 which is 2c1 we can just call it c2 and here using the loss of logarithm we can move this two inside the argument the power rule so the absolute value of x here is squared and remember if it is squared we don't need the absolute value because of course it is always positive it is something squared and then we can you know express this c2 here we want to use ln also so ln e to the power of c2 well this is just c2 actually and now we are calling this e to the power of c2 another constant c3 and here we are just rearranging so um, using the product rule in um, logarithm we can multiply the arguments so we combine the uh, logarithms and we have the final result we're just calling it c now c times x squared this is the f of x so how can we find the c well we plug in the boundary condition or the um, information here when we the x is e, the y is 2 plus ln 7. So we replace the x with e, and the result is supposed to be 2 plus ln 7. So if we um, simplify this or we um, rearrange this, we change this 2 into ln e squared, which is 2 actually here. We get, now we use the product rule, ln 7 e squared, and we we do e to the power of e to the power of get rid of the ln c e squared equals 7 e squared so that means the c is 7 so that's how we get rid of the modulus sign here and that's how we simplify or combine constants that's it i'll see you again next time